One of the things that is often overlooked in creating Power BI dashboards is the grouping of your elements in your dashboard. Think about the grouping of your text areas, your visuals, and your shapes. Definitely when it comes to more complex user interfaces in your reports and dashboards. One of the main views that you can use to start grouping your elements is the selection view. Now, a dashboard that has no grouping applied to it whatsoever will often look like this. A lot of very generic names of the elements that you're using that you've created at some points, you haven't given them any names. And as your dashboard becomes more complex, this becomes a lot more difficult to maintain, uh, especially if you have things like pop-ups or other hover over effects. And that's fine if you're the only developer that's working on a dashboard, but at some point often your dashboard is going to be handed over to another person or another team. And these types of views are often very difficult to maintain. So today we're going to go over some best practices for grouping your elements. First of all, it's, it's, it's a great idea to high level group some of your elements. So in this case, for example, we have a sidebar, a top bar, and several different tiles. And so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to select every single tile and group them. And this will be our cost over time tile, which at the same time, we'll have our details tile. We will have our cost by type tile, which we will group together. We will have our cost by departments tile. And we'll group together our side elements. And we'll group together our top bar. Now, as you can see, we've grouped all of our elements together. Uh, now they're in a little bit of a random order. I think certain things like pop-ups, for example, you want those at the top of your order because they want to show up on top. If you put them at the bottom, then our pop-up is going to be hidden behind certain elements. So we want that at the top. It's also important to find some kind of naming convention for elements within your project and align those with your team. In our case, we often use things uh, like text for text boxes, uh, explaining it's like text title, uh, things like uh, button for show details, uh, and uh, and other types of elements. In the end, it's it's very important that you have similar naming conventions so that someone new coming to your project can quickly explore your project. The one downside of having groups is that the moment you click on an element and you actually plan on selecting that text box at the top, you actually have to click it a second time if it's in a group or even if it's in a subgroup. Uh, but in the long run, this does improve the maintainability of your project. There are also certain advantages to being able to select groups um, and aligning those quickly together using the out of the box align options. This allows you to quickly move together groups or copy groups over. Overall, grouping your elements together into groups that are clear and easy to use, as well as maintaining the naming conventions that you've agreed upon within your team is something that I'd highly recommend for projects that you expect will need to be maintained for a longer period of time. If you're working on your own, this is stuff you can ignore. On the other hand, I find it very useful personally, definitely when I'm creating more complex user interfaces.